face. 5 0. Justin takes Scoggins. He had a great fight about uh, a month ago uh, out in Myrtle Beach. How'd that go for you? Besides getting the win. Oh man, it was an awesome experience. I got to go five rounds. You know, I can let, I let my body know I can make the cut to 125. I can go five rounds with a tough opponent. And, uh, it was just an awesome win. It was a great experience. I remember seeing you on uh, the video of you fighting that one Hewlin down there. Uh, I guess it had to be this summer. What are they, where do you get that aggressiveness from? Because you were just on him like a dog on a bone that whole fight. Uh, well, man, when I started kickboxing, it was always like two minute rounds. It was like uh, two minute rounds. And for those two minutes, you had to be on the guy the whole time or you could lose the fight. So, you know, that wrestling, it's always the mentality. If you're not going forward, you're losing. I know. Uh, been for you. That's going to be pretty amazing. Oh, dude, it's been awesome, man. You know, I'm lucky enough to call them my team now. I'm down there full time. I live down there. Uh, you know, it's gone really good. Training down there at America Top Team. a bunch of good guys. Great talent. Uh, I mean, you're making me better every day. I know an atmosphere like this, being surrounded by your fans, can really help a, help a fighter in your stature, push them along. How much is the love you get? Because I see it all the time on Facebook. You know, all the polls I see, Tank, you got to put Tank up there like top 10, top 3, top 5. How's that going for you? How's that feel to you? It's going great, man. I got this like this base of fans that are better than I, I've never seen a base of fans as good as the ones I got because they're in every single fight. They're loud the whole night. You know, they're there every time. So it's definitely a boost that helps me like going out there and being able to perform in front of all these people who care about me. What's your goals for the new year? I know in the Carolinas, there's several shows coming here. Bellator, uh, UFC. Uh, I'm pretty sure a guy like you is gunning for that for the uh, UFC pretty soon. What, what's your plan for 2013? Uh, 2013, you know, look for me to keep winning fights. I, I plan on fighting uh, whoever they put in front of me and, you know, making my way into the UFC and, and being world champion. When's your next fight? Uh, March 8th at uh, Warfare uh, Warfare 8. You can also see my little brother. He'll be making his uh, his amateur debut. Uh, he, he's a badass, man. He'll be making his amateur debut, Warfare 8. Uh, you know, you can see that. It's, it's going to be awesome. Teaching him as far as I'm going to his uh, first amateur fight. Uh, man, uh, I'm just... Uh, <laughs> Just telling him, you know, keep his cool. You know, you know, you know, be level-headed. Go in there, you know, land clean shots and be patient because the knockouts will come. Stuff like that, you know, just try, stuff I didn't have anybody tell me. Just kind of go in there and tell him how it's gonna feel being in there for a real fight. Say something about Blake Blake Grice as he's sitting there taking pictures of you. Blake Grice, Hall of Fame referee, baby. This guy's the man right here. A living legend. Living legend. Warfare, uh, warfare eight. Well, warfare, March 8th, yep. down in Myrtle Beach. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Hey, I want to say, you know, shout out to my sponsor, Bad Company uh, Fight Gear. He's got Bad Company Fight Gear. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. You're off the church.